I kind of started the party before we got here with the 40 days of fasting. Yeah. And the scripture readings that you sent us every morning. Yeah. And the specifics that you were giving us to pray for. Every morning, no matter what I was going through, when I read the prayer and I read my assignment to pray for and the scripture, it was right where I was. Wow. And so I felt when we came into the room, everything that you had spoken over our lives over the last 40 days was going to come to pass in this room, and it has. Yeah. And, and I think that the fact that we're in this globe field arena, and I was asking them this morning exactly where we are on the, on the field. Somebody's at home, somebody's at first base, somebody's at second, somebody's third, somebody's in the outfield, but we're all in the park. And we're trying to make it home, or we're trying to catch something that's being thrown to us or we're trying to get to second base, or first base, or third base, but the goal is always to work as a team. Yeah. And what I love about it, you brought me and Ma here. Listen, she's got on her heels. I got my pimp stick, that's what I've been calling it, for the last, dead body, for the last several months, this has been my pimp stick. Because I tell you what, the enemy, the enemy tried to steal my joy and make me feel like I wasn't going to be able to come up the stairs and be on stage and be here and participate, pinch nerve, this, that, next. We don't know what's going on with you, but all I know is that I had to be in the room, whether I was in the dugout, whether I was at the concession stand, whether I was at the first base, second base, third base, it didn't matter. All I wanted to do was be in the room where it happens because very rarely, baby girl, very rarely can you get 40,000 people to touch and agree on anything. And when this word started flowing and God started speaking to you, whether you at, at home play, waiting on somebody to come back to home, or if you were out in the field looking for somebody that you've lost, or if the ball hasn't even been thrown to you, in this room, everybody has come an on, opportunity to be on the field. Even when Naomi was on the field, they said, look at her. She's out there gleaning behind other people but leave us something on purpose. And so baby, let me tell you, I'm so full because I realized that my mom didn't get an opportunity to see her. When you were talking about sitting on the front row with Cora Bear, my mom was sitting right beside you or behind you. And just to know, just to see the goodness of the Lord, in the land of the living. You don't know what you're waiting on. You don't know who you're waiting on, but stay in the game. Don't give up. Don't give out. Don't give in. Stay on the field. God is going to do something for you that you didn't even ask him for. Who would ask for this type of scrutiny? Who would ask? Who would ask for this type of financial responsibility? Who would ask to put their children through this? Who would ask their husband, can I do it? And he'd say, sure, baby, you can do it. So we're here because you're here. And I'm here because you're my baby. And wherever you are, Whatever condition you're in, See, that's drunk or sober, about. you don't have to be in globe life. You could be anywhere on the field, and your mama is going to have your back.
and that was my favorite part. Uh, that's my glory. That was actually my favorite part. Sit down. <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> There's nothing else to do after that, Sarah. Nothing. That pimp game strong, FL. That pimp game strong. What is that? I'm waiting on healing. It's coming. I'm waiting on a healing. And so when you're waiting on something, that means that you don't decide when it happens. No, no. It happens when God said, that's enough. And until he says, that's enough, I'm going to use a pimp stick. I'm going to wear my flat shoes. Last week, I couldn't lift my leg. But if I couldn't say a word, I'd just wave my pimp stick. Because you know what? God is great. And he's greatly to be praised. God is good. My walk's not good, but God is good. My back's not good, but God is good. I don't feel good, but God is still good. And in him, I will trust, even when I'm past childbearing age, I judge him faithful who has promised. I'm not supposed to be given birth, but look at me. Look at me. I'm not pushing it out, but I pushed you out. Can I get a snap, snap for the push? Let me tell you, pimp stick and all. Pimp stick and all. Just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Was mama watching Hustle and Flow last week? She was watching, so you want to put your foot on my ride, don't you? <laughs> yes. Well, that took an interesting turn. <laughs> Usually, you should never give me a mic. No, I should always I, I, give me I don't, I'm never going to color inside the lines. I had to do that too long and do what people say do. And, and go where people said go. And say what people said say because it's unorthodox to act like this in church. It's unorthodox for you to cuss one minute and say Jesus in the next, but you better leave these young people alone and let them get it however they can get it. I just want them saved. I just want them saved. Don't talk about what they got on. Don't talk about what they say. You walk in front of them. I used to tell my girls, walk like mommy. And they would come behind me with their little bobby socks and just swinging their little hips. But let me tell you something. We have a responsibility. We have a responsibility to these young women in this room. We got to, don't, Ma, tell me. Go ahead, come on. She needs to be over here with me. We the mother's board. This is Children's Church. This is Children's Church. We the mother's boy. And listen up. The mother of mother is talking. That's right. We got to let these young people find their way, just like I did with my drunk, tied up self. Oh, no, don't, don't go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, no, you didn't say. Oh, no, you didn't say you was drunk. Oh, my God. Let me tell you, tore up from the floor up, trying to sneak in the back door before my mother turned off the porch light. Oh, my God. Leave these young people alone. Now, we're not saying that you continue in sin, that grace may abound. God forbid. But when you become a woman, you put away childish things. And when you talk about, I don't have time for that. I don't have time to gossip. I don't have time to backbite. I don't have time to get on your nerve. 
because I'm trying to get my soul right with God. Ask your neighbor, is your soul right with God? Is your soul right? Not is your wig straight? Not are your nails done? Is your soul, uh, is your soul, uh, is your soul uh, right with God? And I don't know if we've had an altar call, but at the end of the day, this is about Jesus and him crucified. This is the bottom line, bait and switch. You thought you was coming to Globe Life to turn up. Bait and switch. The motherboard wants to know, do you know Jesus? Ask your neighbor, ask your neighbor, do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? Do you know Jesus? Do you love him? Do you know he loves you? Do you know that Jesus loves you just like you are? Ask him. It's your responsibility to not leave this world without saying to somebody, Jesus loves you. Jesus died for you. Jesus is coming back for you. Will you be ready? Are you going to be five wise and five foolish? And the foolish were asking somebody else, let me have some of that oil. Get your own oil. <laughs>